so I missed my flight. <laughs> I want this on my bag in henna. I am absolutely mortified. I have second degree chemical burns on my back. Hi everyone, hello, good morning. It's about seven o'clock, very early for me. Oh yeah, this situation, I thought I had a spot on my lip so I tried to pop it and there wasn't a spot and I just created one. <laughs> so I go to Bali today for two weeks. I've never ever been before in my life. Usually I don't mind flying but I don't know if this is gonna be a little bit intense because it's literally 24 hours, like a whole day. I'm going for my friend Izzy's birthday. Me, Kami, Spencer and Ben met her in Mykonos a few years ago. We met her on like a night out and made friends with her and her group of friends and they ended up living like 10 minutes away from us. So we actually like kept seeing them afterwards. You know how you meet holiday friends? It's like, yeah, we have to see each other when we're back and then you never do. It's me, Kami, Ben, Spencer, Izzy, Ali, who was also on the Mykonos trip. And then two other girls called Megs and Charlotte who I don't know really, really well, but they're Izzy's like close friends. So hopefully the group gets on. <laughs> I spent so much on online shopping orders. One of them came and the other one hasn't arrived yet. And I spent ridiculous amounts of money on it. And it's all like holiday wear, like maxi beach skirts, like crochet knit dresses and stuff. Like, I can't wear it in the UK. I'm literally just gonna return the whole thing. <laughs> I was just imagining if I had to do this flight by myself and I was like, oh my God, that would be wild. <laughs> no, thank you. Look at this sleeping angel. Let's go. Cancel. You're coming. The zoom on this is actually really good. Thank you. I did it myself. Did you just stop because I was still vlogging and you were salty because you didn't get it in your vlog? <laughs> you're actually a, you're like you're genuinely psycho, next to me. Um, replayed the bitch there. <laughs> oh. oh, why is this in Kami's pocket? What do we have over here? <laughs> Tell them. Oh, Ben. Oh my god, I ship them so much. Who's ready for Malia? Shut up. So I missed my flight because I had an antigen test um, in my email um, that I did yesterday but I also did a PCR test but um, Ben had that and I was trying to get Ben to send it over to me but it wasn't working and then they said, I was like I have a PCR and then they said gate's closed now. They were so rude and Ben was sending it, wasn't sending through because he'd already gone through the gate and it was 18 minutes past 10 and she was like you have until 20 past 10 to do it then we're shutting the gates. We got to the airport so early as well we were just in the queue for ages and all the others have gone through and the thing is I'm like, I could just get another flight but I'm not getting a flight by myself for like 20 hours with like a crossover in the middle and stuff and I've already like spent so much money. Izzy's flight's at 3 p.m. today, which I didn't realize, so I can get on her flight and there were spaces available. I paid an extra thousand pounds for another flight for a one way to Bali because it was so last minute. As soon as I booked it, I was like, let me just make sure I've got my passport. It's not there. I don't have my passport. I left it behind the check-in desk because when they said that I missed my flight, I was so stressed and so like heated in the moment that I just completely forgot to ask for it back. I mean, the woman didn't give it me back either, but... So I'm going back to the airport now to see if it's there. I just really hope it is there. Got my passport. Good news. Oh my God, I actually can't believe like everything that happened today. I'm genuinely exhausted. Went to the check-in desk and she goes, we need to see proof of your return flight. Ben has my return flight because he booked all of our flights together. And Ben's on a plane with no Wi-Fi for the next 11 hours. And I was like, I don't have proof. And she was like, I can't let you go then, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, I have done all this from six o'clock in the morning when I woke up. It's now 3 p.m. I'm about to get on a flight. My last chance to go to Bali because I am not getting a flight by now. So, and all they needed was proof of a return flight so I booked the cheapest one I could find and showed her and said this is my return flight proof that I'm leaving Bali and then she let me through thank god, god. I'm going to Bali can you believe it guys I thought this day would never come yes hey she made it thank oh you. we're going to Bali I genuinely thought that I wasn't gonna make it but I was so stressed oh my god I actually made it onto a plane how incredible how incredible oh my god I'm brain damaged <laughs> This is Izzy when she doesn't get alcohol for more than a few hours. <laughs> anyway, we told the others that I'm not coming, so Ben, Spencer, and Kami all think that I'm not gonna come, so I'm just gonna be like, hey, I came. I don't wanna make a big thing of it though, because I'm gonna be really embarrassed if they're just like, oh, hey, like, what's up? <laughs> I hope not. 
This is a test to see if I have fake friends or not. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, you know, because I just like haven't replied, but it'll be worth it. Guys, I just opened my suitcase. First of all, what happened? My Olaplex smashed everywhere. Pens here, pens here. So this is the pool. No, 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 no,
Meg's just getting yeah. henna tats on her wrist. Mine's I want this on my bag in henna. I was gonna get the seven chakras, but I feel like that's way too intricate and I'm scared. <laughs> oh me, Facebook please on my bag. We should get tram stamps oh, with everyone's was names. Thank you, tram stamps. I'm down, I'm down. Huh? <laughs> you want some of this? Oh, that's yours. <laughs> that bitch there. <laughs> she living the life. Henna tattoos, massages, both legs now. I'm also getting my hair braided. I have hair extensions in, like tape hair extensions, so I don't know how that's gonna look. Okay, guys, I have no idea how this looks. I'm gonna turn around. Izzy's gonna tell me what she thinks, and then I'm gonna see it on camera. Okay, let's go. It's cute. <laughs> I need to get this off my back as soon as possible. I made such a mistake. No, I'm trying to wash it off in the pool right now. That's why I'm here. Meg, who got the henna done on her hand, has just had to go to the pharmacy because they use black henna, which is apparently poisonous. And I know from past experience that I'm allergic to henna because I got a tram stamp when I was like 12 and it ingrained into my skin for the next year. If this ingrains into my skin for the next year, I'm asleep for a year, genuinely. I am mortified. I am absolutely mortified. No! Guys, I messed up! I messed up! The braids are cute though. I like the braids. The henna though. Meg went to the pharmacy because she's allergic to her henna. She's allergic to they use black henna, which is poisonous. And they gave her baby oil to get rid of it. Lather that on my back, please. Get rid, get rid. <laughs> Guys, Meg just showed us this video. This is how she got to the pharmacy earlier. Izzy's just lost her £6,000 watch. Genuinely. And the people that did her henna have stolen it. They took it. Like, as if things couldn't get any worse with them. It is so hot in Bali. Like, the UV index is about 11 or 12, so I'm working on my tan. <laughs> but whilst I'm out here, it's obviously so important for me to stay hydrated. So I brought air up with me. It looks like a normal water bottle, but it's not. It basically uses a sense of smell to trick your mind into tasting. They have so many different flavors of pods. They have orangeade, cherry, watermelon. I brought with me wild berry. I haven't actually tried this one yet, so I'm gonna try it live on camera. If you struggle to drink plain water, or you just want to pimp out your water tasting experience a bit. Air up's perfect for that and it also means you're drinking flavoured water without the chemicals or additives or anything like that. This is what the pod looks like. This is mixed berry. And then you just get your air up water bottle and place it around the rim and it literally just pops on like that. And then you just pull it up to activate the taste. And it's all set up and you're good to go. Oh wow. I think the wild berry flavor is my favorite of them all. Like genuinely, like all of them that I've tried. If you guys want to try Arab out for yourself and take a look through the website, you can get these in loads of different colors. You can click the link in the description and also use my discount code, MillieT10, for 10% off your order. Hi guys, good morning. I barely slept last night. I kept waking up every 30 minutes because I have second degree chemical burns on my back. <laughs> Ouch, ouch, ouch. It's so itchy. Yeah, yeah right? We're going on like a snorkeling tour. So we came to the Blue Lagoon Island. Look how clear this water is. I mean, beach a bit dirty there, but <laughs> ignore that. This isn't the actual area though. We're just gonna hop on one of these boats and go down to the island where we're gonna snorkel and stuff. We've been given snorkeling equipment, but mine still has lipstick on the mouthpiece, so I don't think I'll be using that. <laughs> Taste it. No, no, is. no, I can't, I can't. Izzy's playing with rocks on the beach. <laughs> God Hello, damn. I'm a big fan. Come on, hop on. Please, call me, call me. No, sorry. No. The social farmers, please. Yeah. Please, I'm just, I'm out here on my own just trying to find myself. Boats and hoes. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> So we just came off the snorkeling experience thing. It was so fun. Everyone saw a turtle. I didn't see it though. I feel so left out. I couldn't film that much on this camera because the amount of water that was splashing about everywhere. Ben. You had a few shots. <laughs> no, Ben! Stop it. Get some help. Stop. Oh, Ben! Hi. Say hi. Maybe this one's headstock. Oh, no. No, look, he's going to 
go it's back through. He's gonna go. He's gonna go. <gasps> oh, this metal's gonna hurt him. So, okay, shall I pick him up? Oh, oh, are you okay? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this dog we just found. The little puppy. Oh my god, the most adorable puppy ever. He looks oh. like the Andrew. Oh puppy. no, no, that is the cutest. Maybe not kissy kissy. This is his daddy. <laughs> Me's up for it. Me's up for it. Oh, you didn't get good connection there. There you go again. <laughs> no, it's Izzy's go. Uh, I don't side. like stabbing you, I just want to be flat. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do it, Izzy. Flat. Hit her. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Izzy! Go. No, it's tingling. <laughs> I just like being slapped. Right now, I just need to be slapped. Okay. I just get energy out of my body. On this side? Yeah, this side, this side. Ah. That was a bit weak. Go again. Oh. Go again. Okay. Oh, I want to see Millie get slapped again. We move in Airbnbs. I kind of like this feeling because it feels like I'm going home, but I'm not because I'm just transferring to a different place, which is good. Say hi to everyone and see with that beautiful voice of yours. <laughs> what? Is it one more time. Look how beautiful this restaurant is, guys. We're like walking down towards it now, but it looks so tranquil. It looks fake. So beautiful. I am so hot. Like I was sweating in that taxi on the way here. Like my pants were wet, so I had to change into a skirt. So embarrassing. This view is actually insane, insane. Like I think this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. So nice, so nice. Also, I'm kind of getting a tan now. Finally, I've always waiting for this to come on. Oh my god, Wally. Why do I look like this? Okay, we'll do it like this. Um, <laughs> I refuse to look ugly right now. My self-confidence can't take it at the minute. We're about to go to the Airbnb, see what it looks like. I'm so gassed. We're staying in three different Airbnbs. This is our second one and my next setting now. So <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> We've come to such a more tranquil area, like listen. You just hear so many crickets in nature. I'm talking in my soft voice now, like the Kardashians. Look at the Airbnb as well. It looks so interesting. I haven't been in yet, so we're gonna do a live reaction. Oh my God. Hi, hello. Oh my God. This is so nice. Call me. No, you already putting your bag down. You can't do that. It's Izzy's birthday, you idiot. I don't idiot. care. I don't care. Wow. That's the biggest room. I think that's going to be Izzy's room. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Izzy's room. Wardrobe. Another wardrobe. Apparently, they're having a fight right now. Oh. Um. <laughs> Hit him with the kung fu. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? No, I put his legs only, no? Wow. <laughs> the winner! Look at this, how pretty. It looks like a fairy tale. Like a magical kingdom. I know I showed you yesterday, but it looks so much nicer when it's like bright outside. The little communal area as well. Well, living room. I'm just chilling on like a Love Island style bed right now, like living the life. Also, look at my arm. My ex was flaring up again out of nowhere. Like, why? But can you see how patchy my tan's going as well? What is up with that? I can't be asked for my ex to come back again. Oh, welcome to Bali weather. I was just sunbathing, getting the best tan, and then yeah, I started pissing myself down raining. So now I I'm retreating inside. We're all just like huddled up here. I just want to film Izzy because she's just always up to stuff. What is she doing? <laughs> wow. <laughs> just for today, we're going to go to a waterfall. Oh, really? Yeah. These guys are flirting so much. There she is. We have to climb over this like bridge to get there. Go on, Meg, you got this. I believe in you. I hope she falls. <laughs> Tell them. Fall, fall. Tell them. Fall. <laughs> Don't worry, be sexy, but not naked. What is she doing? Respect the sign, Ali. 
Hi guys, good morning. I sound and look a little bit rough. I feel dead and tired. We're going to the Pyramids of Chi um, and it's like a six hour long ceremony. Um, I have no idea what to expect and I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog of it. I promise I'm more excited inside than it appears at first glance. <laughs> the entranceway. Welcome to our world of ancient sound healing. So this experience was actually crazy. Like it was so mystical, but it was so incredible as well. The place we went to is called the Pyramids of Chi, by the way, if you're ever in Bali. But oh my God. So when I like booked this online, I thought it'd be a calm two hour meditation, but it was all about purging, releasing emotions and like new beginnings. So we sat in that tent right there, me and eight other strangers, including Spencer and Izzy. And we just cried to each other. We had like four rounds and we were just talking in pitch black, letting go of things we've been holding on to and becoming reborn again. And this is my reaction afterwards. Also, they had two actual pyramid structures in the area and it, they were built using the same mathematical laws as the pyramids of Giza in Egypt if you know anything about that. And it was just such a magical place. It was honestly unreal. And like in here, we had a sound healing ceremony afterwards um, where they used ancient instruments and frequency healing. And that in itself was crazy as well. I felt refreshed when I came back from this experience. Like me, Izzy and Spencer were lost for words and the amount of weird synchronicities and things that happened afterwards, like very mystical. I feel brand new. I actually feel amazing after that today. Like so, so good. We're about to go to a Michelin star our restaurant it's really expensive and i don't understand the menu at all none of the food makes sense and it doesn't even sound nice really <laughs> i don't like fancy food i'm like a fish and chips burger and chips kind of girl to be honest i'm just having like ml anyway it's all matching crop blazer bra and high-waisted pants <gasps> what a trio okay let's go i'm running late as always yeah michelin star restaurants aren't for me like what is this food i was gonna eat that I thought it was like a macaroon and it was a chunk of butter. I, I don't understand what's going on and it wasn't really nice either. Like this is a leaf on a plate. Maybe I'm not cultured enough to appreciate it, but it's not for me. <laughs> We are packing up and moving out again. Okay, we're going to location number three now for the last three days. Oh, bye beautiful villa, so sad to go. Oh, look at everyone, all no, waiting for the boat. Oh, mommy, sorry, mommy, mommy. Ben's rocking his heart again. Everyone's been on the beers this holiday. I've got a spot on my foot in the itch here. This one. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing more violating, like you can pay for that. <laughs> this is our boat that just arrived to take us to an island. It's like 40 minutes away. I really don't know what to expect. Like I have no idea like where I am right now. I'll, obviously I'm in Bali, but it's just such an interesting environment. It's really cool. Bad bees cruising. <laughs> So we just got to the villa right now and um, I rented a moped thinking it was a 150cc moped. It arrives and this is what I drove, like a motorbike, yeah, with Kami on the back. And I need to sit down to tell you this because I'm actually quite messed up from it. Like, I nearly died. But before I do, just side note, look at this villa. We've just arrived. I'll give you a full tour tomorrow. We all drink it in straight away. Look how insane this place is. It's absolutely beautiful. The rooms are insane as well. The sea's literally there. You can't really see it right now because it's dark. You can hear the waves crashing. Ben's about to get in. And then there's a little jacuzzi thing over there. Look. So this is one of the rooms. This isn't even the master bedroom. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna set you up and talk. So let this also be like logging a lesson for anyone in the future. Um, I rented a motorcycle when we got to this island because we're in the middle of nowhere and they don't do taxis. So I was like, I'll just get a moped. I've had them before when I'm on holiday and I presumed it'd be a 150cc moped. It's the only way we can get to the villa because all the taxis were full that we had to book in advance. So I had no choice but to ride this. That's what she said. So yeah, it's a huge motorbike. I get on it and I start driving it down the road and I'm like, oh, this is fine. The roads were quiet to begin with and then they start getting really, really busy. And there's about 10 cars that come all in a line the other way. Bearing in mind the roads aren't that wide here. They should be wider, but because they're not well made at all, there's ditches. They like break halfway through. So you've got to like maneuver around them and things like that. Like they're cracked, slabs of concrete missing, if you get me. <sighs> I'm driving with Kami on the back and 10 cars start coming the other way and I'm like balancing in the middle obviously you've got to balance on these things it's fine but when you're going slow it starts to wobble a little bit because it hasn't got as much momentum 10 cars start coming and they get bigger and bigger as the cars go by the last car was like a huge truck with like 20 people on it all celebrating for the end of ramadan and out of nowhere the shops and stuff end on this side and it's a cliff drop 
I'm talking waves crashing below, probably about 50 feet, a solid drop, like the end of a table, do you get me? Like, you could literally slide off the end of the table, there wasn't any fencing, no trees. I'm moving closer and closer to the edge, and then I go to go back, and there's a huge car there that's taking up over half the middle of the road, so I go towards the edge again, lose control, and I break, and because I wasn't going that slow, me and Kami get thrown forward, like, on the bike, and the bike's facing the cliff edge, and the wheel stops this, this far away from the edge. I just parked the bike up and had to get the Airbnb host to come and pick me up and then drop us off again. She had, like, three people on a moped. Like, she was so experienced with it and stuff. She lives there, obviously. Thank you, God, for another day. <laughs> get him, get him. Can't hit a girl ban. Come on, ban. You're better than that. Smack her up though. <laughs> Jokes. Is this my winner? Oh. <laughs> Ew, Spencer's having jam and cheese on a pancake. No way, he's really having jam and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Not is he making me iced coffee with caramel in it. I'm wifing it. Can I propose right now? Yeah. Um, this is all I have right now. We're all on our periods because it... Oh, I have bigger ones if you want. Oh, really? Yeah, I've got a few applicator ones left, like four. Do you need them? Yeah, but we can share. Oh, it's all right. I'll use this. No, no, no it's fine because like, when you first start your period, you don't want to shove that up there. <laughs> no, it's fine. I've been on for a few days anyway, so it's quite light. So, sure. yeah, yeah. 100%. Starbucks could never. Yeah, actually, f hire me. Oh my god, I finally caught the sun and tan today. Uh, unless I'm burnt. What did you put on it? Taste test. Yum. Nice. Rabbit lovely. so thick. Yum. Mm. <laughs> Fucking mini. Do you know how much I love mini, my mini, ice latte? Get in mommy. Get in me belly. Get in me belly now. Mmm. Delicioso. Also, I was just editing my vlog back and I saw the way I started my vlog and I hate it. Why do I sound so robotic and animated? I'm like, so I'm going to Bali today. I think I get nervous when I first start my vlogs. <laughs> I need to go put a tampon in. I ran out of my good ones from like back home and these are the only ones that they sell in Bali. What am I supposed to do with this bullet? I have acrylic nails on as well. Like this is not, uh, apart from these ones. Okay, fashion trend. No. Oh my God, no applicator. <laughs> I think it's in. Ah, oh, it's not up far enough. I can feel it when I'm walking around. It's like right where the nerve endings are. Bye.